Hi, my name is Stacy Storino, independent consultant with Arbonne and an attorney since 1998 and a certified life coach since 2015. And if you've ever been curious about the Arbonne 30 Days to Healthy Living and Beyond Challenge, especially the seven day cleanse version, you've come to the right place. I've never tried Arbonne products before starting this program. I had signed up initially as an independent consultant to get the discount, but man, have I learned a lot these last four full days that I've been actively in the program. So stay tuned to see what happened that involved the hospital today and whether or not it threw me off my entire game. Plus, I've got a tip for you to use no matter where you are in your weight loss and health journey. Free life coaching? You got it. Stay tuned. Let me get you up to speed, especially if you just joined me on day four of this 31 day vlogging series. I did a two part setting up video and I'm covering every single day that I'm on the program. So I'll just drop the link to the entire playlist down below for you. I began my 30 days on November 25th, 2017, weighing in at 179.3 pounds, okay? Today is November 28th, 2017, and as of today, I weighed 174 pounds on the nose. Yes, that means I'm already down five pounds, three ounces in four days. Nice. The whole hospital thing came later. We'll get there. I began the day drinking the first of two herbal detox teas. According to Arbonne's support guide for this program, the herbal detox tea contains a mild caffeine-free herbal tea with nine botanicals that support the liver and the kidneys. Next, 30 minutes before breakfast, I took the full control product from the Arbonne Evolution line. You don't need to do Evolution at the same time that you are on the 30 Days to Healthy Living and Beyond program. But I felt I needed to do it because I was struggling big time with the munchies. This product has a soluble fiber that expands when mixed with water. It gives me a feeling of fullness. After that, I had my AM Energy Fizz Stick in the citrus flavor. It's a product that delivers a modest boost of energy without a caffeinated crash. Okay, for breakfast, I had the metabolism support supplement from the Arbonne Evolution line, which has really helped me, especially since I've been postmenopausal for years. I took that supplement with my morning shake. If you want to see how the shake is built, check out the day one recap in this series. Now, I went about my business throughout the day, making sure to drink approximately half of my body weight in water. I mean, seriously, I drained eight 16 ounce glasses of lemon water at least over the entire course of the day. My AM stack was a handful of almonds and a handful of grapes. Honestly, it's really enough for me on this system. I'm not starving, I promise. 30 minutes before lunch, I was sure to take the Arbonne Evolution Full Control product, and then I exercised. I pulled out another old DVD I had from about 15 years ago and used a five pound set of weights because there was both aerobic and anaerobic components to that workout. Now, normally in addition to another shake at lunch, I'd have been eligible to swing yet another protein shake if I wanted to, to use it as a post-workout recovery shake. I ended up using my lunch shake as one and the same. I also took the second and last Arbonne Evolution Metabolism Support Supplement for the day. My PM snack was a handful of both cashews and grapes. Then 30 minutes before dinner, I took the last of my Arbonne Evolution Full Control Powder mixed with water. And that is when all hell broke loose. I received a phone call from a relative saying that they needed someone to take them to the hospital. 
That meant my entire schedule for the rest of the evening in terms of my Arbon program went out the window. I'd already taken the full control powder, so unfortunately, as we drove the relative to the hospital and I stayed with them throughout, the 30 minutes came and went. I couldn't afford to get angry. Life happens. Plus, I was super worried about the relative. Now, Thank God they ended up being okay. They were treated and released and another relative came to be with them so that I could get home. Dinner consisted of me wolfing down a vegetable pizza I'd made topped with shiitake mushrooms. I used the shiitake variety of mushroom because especially the way I season it, it tastes more like meat. Not that I'm trying to avoid meat during this whole program, but this is the cleanse version of the Arbon 30 Days to Healthy Living and Beyond boot camp, if you will. So the cleaner and greener I can eat, the better. It certainly makes a difference in terms of how I felt over these last four days. While at the hospital, I had my PM Energy Fistics in the citrus flavor but I had to make sure that I got everything in, ideally before 7 p.m. Finally, I had my PM detox tea. I can't lie, I had it after 7 p.m., but solid food ended before 7 p.m. So the 7 p.m. cutoff wasn't a perfect cutoff if you know what I mean, but life happens, whether it involves a hospital or not. What am I gonna do? We'll see what happens tomorrow. Stay tuned for day five in this vlogging series. So now, the wrap up. I'm currently 174 pounds on the nose and have just completed day four of the Arbon 30 Days to Healthy Living and Beyond cleanse version. They used to call me Slim Stacy. Can you believe that? I was never a fat kid, fat tween, fat teen, fat 20 something, and honestly, I didn't start gaining weight until I was around 36 years old. I've got 50 pounds to lose overall as I started this 30 day journey. What's a takeaway for today that might help you and your journey? It's simple, really. Life happens. Stress happens. Sometimes huge stress happens, like someone you love calling up in tears, scared and hurt. You can't lose it and spiral out of control because you have a bad day, okay? Nothing justifies you coming home and inhaling a sleeve of cookies or crackers or swilling a six pack of beer or an entire bottle of wine. I love being on a plan because it helps keep me organized. It's hard to lose my place. That said, things didn't exactly go according to plan today and I have something to drink after 7 p.m. that wasn't just water. Still, I have to keep putting one foot in front of the other and not get stuck watching my life via the rear view mirror. The same goes for you. I can only hope that in the days to come, the real Slim Stacy can stand up and be seen again. Meanwhile, I'll see you tomorrow.